Democratic presidential candidate Joseph Biden today faces a controversy that his opponents could use in raising questions about his character. Three weeks ago at a debate at the Iowa State Fair, he used phrases identical to those delivered by British Labor Party leader Neil Kinnock. Biden seemed to be claiming Kinnock's vision and life as his own. Why is it that my wife is sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Gladys the first woman in her family in a thousand generations to be able to get the university? My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in northeast Pennsylvania and come up after 12 hours and play football for four hours. Those people who could wait, work eight hours underground and then come up and play football. It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. There was no platform upon which they could stand. The notion that every thought or notion or idea you'd have to go back and find and attribute to someone, I think is quite frankly uh, ludicrous. The problem here is that Senator Biden told his audience he'd just been thinking about these things and he failed to give any credit at all to his famous British speechwriter. You know, I was thinking on the way over here. <laughs> now that's a little too much because as you point out, what's behind the words, what's there? And a lot of people, the rap on Biden has always been that it's just a surface. I should have said, to paraphrase Neil Kinnock, it's the only time I didn't in all the times I've ever used it. But CBS News found a tape of a second instance. It showed up in Iowa, site of the first 1988 caucuses, then reappeared in the New York Times with a new charge, that Biden had appropriated a famous litany from the late Robert Kennedy about what the gross national product cannot measure. It cannot measure the health of our children. The health of our children. The quality of our education. The quality of their education. The joy of their play for the joy of their play. Biden gave Kennedy no credit. He has also quoted or paraphrased John Kennedy, Hubert Humphrey, and British Labor Party leader Neil Kinnock, all without credit. Joseph Biden admitted today that he committed plagiarism when he was in law school. He said it was a mistake, but that it was unintentional. I've done some dumb things, and I'll do dumb things again. To the political community in Washington, it all seems of a piece. Plagiarism at law school, plagiarism on the stump. The great communicator, strike that. The great imitator. And any young journalist in our profession at the Washington Post or elsewhere caught in that many acts of plagiarism uh, would lose his job and it would be the end of his career. You don't steal verbatim, uh, or when you do, as he did 99% of the time, you give credit. Biden's critics say he sells himself as a man whose words and visions can inspire a new generation in politics. But if the thoughts, phrases, and visions really belong to others, it's a form of false advertising. Is it a wise idea, though, to take something that personal, anyway, from another politician and try and appropriate it to your own campaign? What it suggests there is a kind of uh, emptiness that you will fill with whatever sounds good. I mean, it makes him mm -hmm. seem a synthetic man, sopping up secondhand emotions from other people. Most people didn't know who he was. You know, Joe Biden, Biden, and now they're going to say, oh, yeah, he's the guy who plagiarized. That's a lot of people. First. Politically, that's <laughs> devastating. These clips are devastating. He looks like a Joe Biden wind-up doll with somebody else's words coming out. I think it was a stupid thing to uh, appropriate uh, material that was really very personal that was someone else's. If they are going to do things that are stupid as well as immoral uh, or distasteful, uh, and one thing that's clearly stupid is to do it and get caught at it, then they're probably too dumb to have the job of president. The voters are going to have to decide whether he was dishonest or dumb. Senator Joseph Biden may have more explaining to do. The new questions stem from With taped remarks of, of Biden States. during an April campaign appearance in New Hampshire. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only needed 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, 
and won only one degree, not three. Joe Biden ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of Syracuse Law School. I mean, this guy comes off this whole thing as a flyweight. And I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Frank. Joe Biden was victimized by the truth. Bye-bye, Biden. He may not know it yet, but I think this is very diff going to be very difficult for him to recover. Is Joe Biden dead meat, yes or no? I think so. Bob? He's in terminal condition. Terminal? Eleanor? Yes, unless he comes in third in Iowa. Morton? <laughs> Dying. I say dead.